in the ANCOM TDF Dietary Fiber Analyzer Operator's Manual under the sections titled Protein and ASH Determination. There are several pages of instructions that list the appropriate steps for bag preparation of both protein and ASH determination methods. It is important to remove as much of the polypropylene as possible. This minimizes the acid needed during the Caldol procedure. In order to remove the majority of the polypropylene, cut the filter bag just above the seal which you made prior to drying the bags. Cut off both sides of the polypropylene that cover the filter, being careful not to cut into the filter. Fold the filter in thirds from side to side and place the last fold down. Fold the filter in thirds again from top to bottom. With your heat sealer set to 6, place the exposed polypropylene material from your final fold onto the heat sealer. Press the arm of the heat sealer down. Release the arm three to four seconds after the red light goes off. Reseal the bag if necessary. Label the folded, sealed filter bag. Cut the polypropylene of the bag 8 to 10 millimeters above the filter so enough polypropylene is left to be sealed after the filter has been folded. Manipulate the filter to spread the sea light out evenly. Fold the filter from side to side so that it fits in your Keldahl tube. With your heat sealer set to 6, place the exposed polypropylene material from your final fold onto the heat sealer. Press the arm of the heat sealer down. Release the arm 3 to 4 seconds after the red light goes off. Reseal the bag if necessary. Label the folded, sealed filter bag. Place one labeled filter in each Caldol tube. Add the appropriate amount of catalyst to each tube. Add 17 ml of acid to each tube that contains an IDF bag and 27 ml of acid to each tube that contains an SDF bag. To slow down or eliminate the amount of foaming during the digestion process, increase the temperature slowly.
starting at the bottom of the bag, fold the filter upward in thirds, and continue to fold upward, leaving at least 10 millimeters at the top of the clear polypropylene that is not folded. Fold the bag in thirds from side to side. With your heat sealer set to 6, place the exposed polypropylene material from your final fold onto the heat sealer. Press the arm of the heat sealer down. Release the arm 3 to 4 seconds after the red light goes off. Reseal the bag if necessary. Label the folded, sealed filter bag and place it in a pre-weighed ashing crucible. We recommend that you use covers for your crucibles to avoid cross-contamination or loss of ash. Starting at the bottom of the filter, fold the bag upward, leaving at least 10 millimeters at the top of the clear polypropylene that is not folded. Fold the bag in thirds from side to side. With your heat sealer set to 6, place the exposed polypropylene material from your final fold onto the heat sealer. Press the arm of the heat sealer down. Release the arm 3 to 4 seconds after the red light goes off. Reseal the bag if necessary. Label the folded, sealed filter bag and place it in a pre-weighed ashing crucible. We recommend that you use covers for your crucibles to avoid cross-contamination or loss of ash. Place crucibles in the furnace for three hours at 600 degrees C. Allow crucibles to cool in a desiccator. Record the weight of each crucible.